Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kelvin and I have another tutorial for you and I have to tell you something. This is my, I guess, try number 10 to record this video in English language. You can hear it. English is not my uh, native language. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I tried it uh, 10 times before. I was not happy with my English. But now I don't care because I know you will understand everything. Uh, I don't give a Beep uh, on my English right now. The content is much more important, so um, I don't care if uh, if I do something wrong now in in English grammar. All right, let me show you a couple of um, body shaping techniques in this video, and um, I choose this image here. And my goal is to make her maybe a little bit more thinner, or a little bit more taller, and just let me show you a couple of uh, techniques what you can use um, to make that happen. All right, first of all, I duplicate the layer and most of you guys, I'm sure you will choose the liquify tool. Well, it's not a bad tool, you can do it. Um, I mean, this image is perfect because the background is white. Most of the time I choose the move left tool. Uh, it's, it's a very hard tool to understand the first time because when you move it down, everything goes right. I mean, it's, it's very crazy, but um, you have to imagine um, your cursor here is a car, a, a snow car, and when you drive in this direction, the snow gets all the time to the left side. So when you drive down, the snow gets all the time to the left side when you go down. It's very uh, difficult to understand, but it's a good way to make make her maybe a little bit smaller here, very easy to do. So this is a great tool. The problem is when you have an, uh, um, an, an background what is not seamless, yeah, you will get in trouble, but that's nearly with everything. And another point is when you do this very often, um, your pixels here maybe gets a little bit blurry. But that's a way. I mean, the liquify tool is, is very, very great. Here is another tool what you can use um, when you go to edit, puppet warp. Um, I do not have my, my mesh here, but I mean, when I see this mesh, I, I go crazy. So I do not show the mesh. All I do now is, um, so uh, I, I click here on the image to adjust uh, the image or to fix the image, not to adjust, to fix it. Uh, and then you can move the points to change um, the picture or, or the part of the point. Take a look here. Yeah, shake it. Come on. Yeah, woo. You can uh, move it, but this is not what I like to do here. What I like to do here is maybe we can click here, we can click over there, and then we can make a little bit more the line to the side here. All right, this looks good. You can also uh, click here and there, and then you can make it a little bit smaller maybe, like this. So you have to play around with it, um, but this S curve now works good for me. I, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with it. So I have to find my uh, button here to uh, yeah, click enter. And you can see the before after. Take a look. We go uh, one step backward before and uh, well, I can click here before, after, before, after. So much better. It's a great tool. Puppet Warp was the name. So edit Puppet Warp. Perfect when you have a seamless background. Otherwise, um, it's also good when you extract the model from the background and then you can move it around and very nice and sometimes very funny. Another great technique what I use um, very, very often to make a, a person a little bit taller is I duplicate the layer, then I choose my move tool and then I click the arrow key up. All right, to change the position a little bit. You can see when I when I hide it now we, we lost some space here. And then I choose my selection tool. I make a selection here of this part and then I go to edit free transform. All right. And then I can make the person a little bit taller. So this is much better. And uh, I can see here I lost some space. But when we merge everything down, everything is fine. All right, that was some quick tips about some, some shaping. Take a look, here's the before, here's the after, before, after. 
I was retouching this image um, a couple of hours ago and then, yeah, it keeps in my mind, okay, come on, Kelvin, you need a little bit more English tutorials, show your, show the world out there, a little bit of retouching. And I hope you like it. When you like to see more English tutorials, please write me in the comment. And uh, I hope you understand everything. I need a little bit more practice with, uh, with the English uh, language. And uh, so... Uh, my plan is to do more English Photoshop tutorials for you guys. All right. Thanks for watching and see you soon.